Hi, hello, and welcome to Pace Rewind, everyone. I'm Ryan Shields. And I'm Katie Healy. It's time to take a look at last week's highlights. In the first of pace trailing, Gabby Rubin drives baseline, draws a foul, and gets a layup to go for the and one. A few minutes later, Rubin nails the triple from the corner to cut the Queens lead down to three. Moments later, Rubin again hits a three, this time from the other corner, to tie the game at 16. Now late in the first half, Uni Cher picks off the cross-court pass and takes it coast-to-coast -to, -coast to tie the game at 22. In the second with the setters trailing, Rubin finds Christian Dodge in the paint for the easy lay-in to cut the Queens' lead to three. Now down by five, Dodge kicks it to Rubin, who bangs home the three to cut the lead to two. Knotted up in the final seconds of the game, Rubin on the wing, nails it, pace, takes the lead by three. Queens would then tie the game at the buzzer to force overtime. In OT, Cher has her shot blocked, but Dodge is there to grab it and hit the layup to put the setters up by three to cap the win for the setters by the score of 64-61. Men's basketball took on Georgian Court on Saturday at the Gold Team Fitness Center. Midway through the first, Khalil Brown hits the contested fadeaway jumper to give Pace a four-point lead. Later in the first, Brian Rivers gets the outlet pass from Jared Pearson and goes coast to coast for the layup. Now up five, Mike DeMello misses the layup, but Jalen Mann is there for the putback to stretch the setter's lead to seven. Now to the second, pace up five until DeMello knocks down the triple try from the corner, extending the setter's lead to eight. Later in the half, pace only up two, Kyle Pearson all alone for the flush. Pace now down three, Shelton McHale spinning and winning as he lays it in to cut the setter's deficit to one. Six minutes left in the game, setters up four, and Kyle Pearson gets the feed underneath off the break and jams it home. Pace now pulling away, McKell from three, hits, stretching the lead to 11. Now up 14, Kyle Pearson with the steal and takes it all the way for the ferocious Tomahawk Jam. Both swimming and diving were off this last week, but both will compete this Friday at 4 p.m. against Southern Connecticut State at Goldstein Fitness Center. You can also watch it live at paceuathletics.com. This Saturday, our men's and women's basketball teams will take on Lemoyne at home at the Gold Seed Fitness Center. This doubleheader will also be our blue out game with the first thousand fans getting a blue out t-shirt on a first come first serve basis. Women's tip off at 1.30 followed by the men's at 3.30. Come out and support your setters. That's going to do it for us this week. For everyone involved in Pace Rewind, I'm Ryan Shields. And I'm Katie Healy. Thanks for watching. Catch you next week.